Is that... No, it can't be. Can I help you? Uh, I, I'm sorry. I was actually wondering if I could help you. You looked kind of lost. Lost? No. This is my school. I've never seen you around. Are you transferring in? I've been absent lately. Illness? Yes, but not mine. Nothing serious, I hope. The problem is twice as serious as I'd anticipated. Miss Psycho! Already? I'm sorry, miss, but some of the students are beginning to arrive. Clearly. Enjoy it. You never truly realize how much you appreciate a thing until you can't have it anymore. Experiences you might have had. Friends you might have made. See you around, Megami Psycho. Twice as serious, Megami-chan said. Info-chan said she knows there's a yandere going to school here. That that's why she's been absent. Does that mean there are two yandere's? If there are, Info-chan must know. So why didn't she say something? Yan-chan? Coconut-chan, are you okay? How did your morning walk go? Tarakun and his friends arrived at school safely. If that's what you mean. And... I don't know. You have to believe me. I didn't do anything to Kizana-chan. No, I do believe you. I heard her crying yesterday morning myself. And then you were with me during the afternoon. Yan-chan, I... I want to apologize. Apologize? For not believing you sooner. All that about a shadowy plot, and people taking your parents, and also Rito somehow being involved but Kazana was getting close to Tarukun, and then something happened to her, and she died. You weren't lying. I'm glad you finally believe me. I really don't want anything to happen to Tarukun either. Definitely not anything like that. Tell me what to do, Yanchan. I'll help however I can. Within reason. Of course. I'm sure we can keep him safe together. I'm really sorry Kazana-chan got mixed up in all of this. She was so cruel to you. And if she had simply been nice, Senpai wouldn't have come to your defense like that, and she would probably still be alive. You don't think that's poetic justice? Kazana-chan was mean to me, sure, but she was a really talented actress. She probably would have gone to do something amazing, but now she won't have the chance. You're such an optimist, Kokona-chan. You'd never hurt a fly. It's just not in my nature. It really isn't. Are you sure you're okay, Onisan? It's... whatever, Jiro-kun. I just need some space. I'm really worried about him, Osana-chan. He thinks he's responsible for what happened to Kazana. He thinks he killed her? More or less. He thinks he's cursed. How am I going to show him that it's just some really horrible luck? Nothing to do with him. <sighs> I'm really worried about him. You're a good brother, Jiro-kun. You think so? I feel like I've really been letting him down lately. All he wanted was a girlfriend, someone to keep him company, and I've just been trying to distract him with clubs and our studies. I think that's really nice of you, actually. Thanks, Osana-chan. That means a lot. It does? Amai-chan! Amai-chan? The cooking lesson. After everything happened with Kazana-chan, maybe she can do it today. Y you mean, Tarakun and Amai-chan? Oh, no, I like her. You do? Her cooking is just so amazing. I thought you liked my cupcakes. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're okay. Oh. Wow, look at Osana-chan. She's really blushing hard. Yeah, but there's only Jiro-kun with her, not Taro-kun. Must be some new trick up her sleeve. I don't know, Yanchan. I didn't mean to tell her Jiro-kun had a crush on her, but maybe it was a good thing that I slipped up. Hmm. I'm telling you, sometimes people just need to hear that they're liked. 
that can be enough for them to really see someone else for the first time. I assume you're referring to Oka-chan and Budokun? He's a nice guy. If she finds out he's interested in her, that might be enough to make her forget about Taro-kun. Then everyone stays safe, and we do a good thing at the same time. Uh-huh. You don't sound convinced. I've never found people to be that easily convinced, but if you think you can do it, it's worth a shot. How are you doing with all this? I don't think I've actually asked you that yet. I saw someone this morning. Someone? Someone who didn't quite fit. They were staking out the school. Was it one of the people who wants to hurt Taro-kun? I think so, but I need some more information. Tell you what, you do that, and I'll start working on Oka-chan and Budo-kun. Maybe I can get them to meet at the confession tree this afternoon. You take care of the light stuff, Kokona-chan. Me, on the other hand, I'll handle the darkness. Enter. More problems, Yan-chan? Maybe. Only this time, I think the problem is you, Info-chan. I'm sure I have no idea of what you mean. Two Yandere's? That was what Megami-chan told me this morning. That doesn't concern you, Yan-chan. How can it not concern me? If there's another Yandere trying to eliminate all the rivals for Senpai's heart, sooner or later, she's going to come after me. Even if there is another Yandere at Academy High School, why would you assume their senpai is the same as yours, or that she's female? I... I... Trust that I'm monitoring the situation, Yanchan. Kizana-chan didn't die of a broken heart, did she? All I can say is that the person who killed her pretended to be her for a few hours, sobbing inside the drama club room whenever anyone approached. But as to why, I couldn't say. Tell me who they are! Back off, Yanchan, and remember who you're dealing with. I support what you're doing to a point. Even my help has limits. Whatever happened to Kizana-chan further cemented my control over Kokona-chan. She believes me completely now. Don't test me, Yanchan. You won't like what you find. Kokona's too kind-hearted to take out Megami-chan. Maybe I could trick her into slipping Megami-chan some poison. But people have seen us together now. It could be easily traced back to me. I need an outsider. Someone who can take out Megami-chan without anyone implicating me too. If Senpai knows I'm involved, judging by the way he treated Kizana-chan, he'd just hate me. You're sure about this? Absolutely. Budokun really, really wants to meet you by the confession tree. So much that he doesn't even want to wait until 6 o'clock. I never thought Udo Musatua interested in me. He's waiting for you. Go to him. I will. You can do it, buddy. Just do like Okuna said and be honest. See, Yanchan? Just like I told you. They both just needed a little bit of encouragement. What are you saying? That whoever's coming for Senpai can be distracted into not killing him? Uh, I guess that's pretty stupid, huh? I wouldn't say that. Diversions are usually always helpful. Did your friend give you the information you were looking for? Yes, the name of the person that's behind all this. The person who kidnapped my parents, who killed Asu-chan and Kizana-chan, who's coming to hurt Senpai. Megami Psycho. You mean Student Council President Megami Psycho? Why do you think she hasn't been in school for the last few weeks? All the power and money her position affords? She's up to something. My contact doesn't know what yet, but Senpai is definitely in her sights. Oh no. Poor Taro kun. Promise you'll keep an eye on him if Amai chan gives him that cooking tutorial this afternoon? Absolutely, Yanchan. You can count on me.
Hmm. What do you got there, Jiro? It's a note that was left on Amai's door. It says she's leaving for a few weeks for some cooking show. Why wouldn't she have mentioned that? I guess it's very last minute. Weird, though. What's weird? I don't know, just the nature of the invitation. Well, she is a really talented cook, Jiro. No, that's not what I mean. God, why does everything I say come out the wrong way? Well, you can't have the good looks and the brains, bro. It's just, this whole thing seems... off. Could you maybe elaborate? Well, am I just randomly got invited onto some cooking show? It said someone anonymously nominated her. Who? <sighs> What's wrong? I... I don't know. It just feels like someone put a hex on me. Come on, Taro. You don't actually believe that, do you? I don't know anymore. Bro? I, I think I need to be alone for a while. What's your issue? Huh? M me? Yeah, you. Hanging your head like you get the worst problems in the world. What's the matter? Mommy and Daddy not taking you to the Bahamas this year for spring break? Hey, shut up! You have no idea what you're talking about! And everyone says you're such a nice guy, Toro Yamada. That was before Asurito died, or Kizada Sonobu died, or Amai Odayaka moved away. Wow. Gonna tell me the same thing everyone says? That it's bad luck? No. I'll tell you what it is. I'm cursed. No, you're not cursed. But you're not crazy either. Meaning? Sounds like someone's got it out for you. Huh? What's this now? That noble profile. You look like a young Apollo, my dear. Uh, sorry. Who are you? Mita Rana. And you, my dear, are far too handsome for your own good. Hey, you can't talk to him like that. You're a teacher. Student teacher. Trust me, there's a difference. Why don't you- Don't touch him. Huh? It can't be. She's the second yandere. Just who do you think you are? Laying your hands on a teacher? Osora Shidesu. And don't you dare mess with him again. You're coming to the principal's office with me this instant. Don't forget to see the nurse to fix your busted face. Just think of it. The other yandere. She's the key to defeating Megami Psycho. 